We continue our team coverage now with Way 31's Max Cohan. And he took a deep dive into the history of the UAH men's hockey program. So Max, what is the impact of the program here in North Alabama? Well, when you think of hockey, you probably don't think of the South, but Huntsville is different. Dubbed the hockey capital of the South by former Governor George Wallace, and the UAH Chargers are a cornerstone of the local ice community. Started as a club team back in 1979, the team played its first varsity season in 1985 and had its first Division I season in 1987. The team then spent six seasons at the Division II level between 1992 and 1998, winning two national titles before moving back to D1. In recent years, the team has struggled on the ice. 2005-2006 was the team's last winning season. In the last decade, UAH has cut the program twice, once in 2011 and then again last year, saved by the support of alumni and the community both times. But unlike previous times, money isn't the issue at hand now. It's a conference or the lack of one. And joining one seems to be the only way to get back on the ice. From the beginning, it has been our goal to get into a conference. And, and so we, we initially talked a little bit about independent, but then pretty much came together as an administration. Um, decided that independent was not going to be what we were going to do. We do want to be a part of a conference. Smith cited difficulty in recruiting, scheduling, and postseason play as reasons the team decided against going independent. The university has sent a proposal to join the Atlantic Hockey Association, but has not formally responded. Donors say they are in this for the long haul and willing to back the program financially, no matter how long it takes for a conference to accept them, pleading for anyone to give them a shot.